Princess Beatrix, Your Royal Highnesses, Excellencies, Distinguished Guests, Ladies and Gentlemen, Good evening. Let me begin by thanking Your Majesties for your gracious invitation and warm hospitality shown to me and my delegation. It is indeed an honour and a great pleasure for me to visit in this historic city to reciprocate the Dutch state visit to Singapore in 2013. We are honoured that Your Royal Highness Princess Beatrix, who made that visit to Singapore as Queen, is gracing us with your presence this evening. Singapore and the Netherlands have forged a close partnership over many years. We are both outward-looking countries with open economies and world-class ports and airports. Trade is our lifeblood and our two countries are the gateways to our respective regions. Singapore and the Netherlands also share a common commitment to multilateralism, free trade and the rule of law. Being connected to the world has always been part of our history and our beliefs. As pioneers of ASEAN and the Union, European Union respectively, our two countries are firm advocates of regional integration. Singapore and the Netherlands have a long-standing and historical friendship. The imprint of Dutch pioneers is found throughout Singapore. For instance, the Van Cleef Centre, a modern aquatic science centre, was named to honour the Dutch mining expert Carl Willem Benjamin Van Cleef, who lived in Singapore and left his entire estate in 1930 to the municipal government. The centre was named during the state visit in January 2013. It is aptly located on Albert Winsemius Lane. Yes, we do have a lane called Albert Winsemius in Singapore, named after the late Dr. Winsemius, whose vision shaped Singapore's economic development during Singapore's early years of independence. People with very different backgrounds and beliefs live at close quarters. Yet it's striking how those differences aren't blown out of proportion and how you constantly strive for a sense of unity based on mutual respect. Along with your strong economic position, this provides a foundation on which future generations can build. There's only one thing more difficult than becoming successful, and that is staying successful. It's characteristic of your country that you always think a few steps ahead. In that respect, we are honored that you've come to us for inspiration. Conversely, your visit and that of the delegation traveling with you inspires us. There's so much that we can learn from you, especially in the field of technological innovation. During your stay in our country, you will be visiting various centers of knowledge and creativity. You will see presentations by Dutch entrepreneurs, scientists, students, designers and experts. And you'll be able to learn more about the Dutch approach. An approach that you may find a bit unpolished and unconventional. Dutch innovators aren't afraid to experiment or to leave the beaten track. They feel free to come up with their own ideas and to take the initiative. Sorry. Thought apart from that. But also how special it is that we, 
despite their distance, endure such close times and have so much in common. Perhaps it's because, geographically speaking, we are very alike. After all, both our countries have a strategic coastal location and form a gateway to an enormous continent. Singapore is still the springboard to the big booming economies of China and Southeast Asia. The Netherlands is the hub connecting the European market of over 500 million affluent consumers, thanks to Rotterdam and Schiphol, its world class sea and airports. We might be a small country. We might both be small countries, but we punch well above our weight in areas like logistics, transport, and trade. The long-standing 